Elon Musk came out this weekend and just announced that he has Asperger's syndrome. Massively commend him for that as I think it's a brave move owning his diagnosis and saying it publicly. That being said, to those of us who've seen patients with this before, it didn't come as a surprise. So in this video, I'm gonna break down why that is and some of the signs that he had this condition even before he announced it. If you don't know who I am, my name is Saramed. I'm a doctor who's working in London. I answer all your questions and suggestions. So if that's something you're into, you're curious, you wanna know more about your health, then hit that subscribe button and change the notifications to all so you can stay in the loop. So what actually is Asperger's syndrome, which is now more commonly known as part of autism spectrum disorder? The DSM-4 criteria is very long. I'm going to tell it to you just for informational purposes. It's a severe and sustained impairment in social functioning and the development of repetitive and restricted patterns of behavior, interests and activities that must cause impairment of social, occupational and other important areas of functioning. Oh, that is a mouthful. So what does it actually mean? I'm here to simplify things for you guys. So it really comes down to two main things. One, the love of a certain topic, obsession, repetitiveness, order. And the second is a lack of understanding for other human emotions and intention. Take this video, for example, where Elon Musk is seen inside his own home dealing with his new wife uh, as well as the kids. You know, obviously moved straight into the house with the children and it became a very real thing immediately. Now notice it's so subtle, but Elon is so focused on the actual phone and the child that it almost looks like he doesn't even feel that his wife is touching him from behind. This shows one of two things. So, so one is that his obsession with that specific thing that he's looking at is associated with such laser focus that he almost dampens down all of his environment. That is a double-edged sword because the second thing is that he doesn't really interact well with other people and that includes his spouse because imagine how you feel if you're a spouse you, you will feel ignored although there's been so many times that right i'm getting on a plane to england and i'm never gonna see you again really <laughs> no <laughs> um no no not really but it also has an advantage and explains why musk has been so successful in launching multiple companies that have revolutionized the way we do things. Um, OpenAI, SpaceX, Tesla, just to name a few. He's also had Neuralink. He was part of PayPal. I mean, the list goes on. It's really quite remarkable. Now, another thing in terms of social functioning that's slightly less subtle is about eye contact. People with autism spectrum disorder tend to find eye contact difficult. And if you have a child and you might be worried that they're developing autism spectrum disorder, um, a lot of what we tell our patients in pediatrics is, is about how the child interacts when you put them with other kids. Uh, and also when they're talking to you, do they look you directly in the eye? I, I guess as a function of reading a lot of uh, sci-fi and philosophy as a kid and... Uh... Or do they try and avoid the eye contact and prefer more kind of solitary play? That is a that's a classic feature of autism spectrum disorder. So what is really the difference between autism spectrum disorder and Asperger's? Well, Asperger's tended to be a milder form of autism that was associated with higher intellectual functioning because autism is a spectrum and that's why it's named as such. You have all kinds of things on the spectrum, including people who really suffer to be in mainstream schools and have to be, um, you know, having much high levels of supervision um, and, and support to be able to, to be honest, even 
lag behind their peers. Whilst with Asperger's, the child can go to a mainstream school, they can overcome this love of being solitary and, and this repetitive type behavior to, to actually function relatively normal uh, in comparison to others with more severe forms of autism. Now we don't use the term Asperger's syndrome anymore because it can be misleading and make it seem as though this is something separate to autism when it, it really is part of the same condition. And that's why it's all been grouped into one term. Now going on to the juice of why you're here is let's look at this interview um, with Jack Ma. But I well, that's my view about jobs. Don't worry about it. We well, will have jobs. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I think, man, you think of like technology, like technology and technology awareness. There's like, it's like, if there was like a topological map of technology awareness, it's mostly flat with a few short buildings and then some very tall spires, very tall spires. And unless you're on that very tall spire, it's not obvious what the topology is. Yeah, I never worry about the things that I cannot solve. You can see here that when, when Elon Musk is explaining about the levels of technological advancement within the landscape, that he's really visualizing with some depth what he's saying. He's so engrossed within his own thought um, that, that he makes it so you could almost see the same thing that he can see. The other thing though is when he's challenged, like in the interview I'm about to show you, he struggles to maintain eye contact. But when he's not challenged, you can tell that he is overriding his inner urge to actually look away. Take a look at these two clips, for example. In the first one, he looks straight at the interviewer, no problem. Do you think we'll make contact with Alien? within the, the next 50 years. And in this next one, when he's challenged, look and see how he reacts. Well, that's a really tough one to say. Um, I mean, if there are super intelligent aliens out there, they're probably already observing us. That would seem quite likely. And we just um, are not smart enough to realize it. Um, but I can do some, some back of the envelope calculations and um, any advanced alien civilization that, that was at all interested. Now it's normal for people to break eye contact. Usually that lasts one to two seconds. And you can see that this is lasting between you know, 10, 15 seconds even sometimes when Elon Musk is explaining how his thought process works. It's no surprise then that when you look into Elon Musk's past, he actually was bullied quite intensely in school. And uh, one of the ways that he overcame that was he actually turned his house into a mansion where they were hosting parties with his school. So that was a very smart way to, to learn and understand how other people function. That He learned that other people like parties and he thought if he could be the person to give them that fun to host those parties, then obviously he would be more popular within the group. And he managed to overcome his condition to obviously achieve great success. If you do want to learn more about Elon Musk, I'm going to drop a link in the description below to his biography where you can find out more about his life journey and how he got to where he is and how he functions. Another thing that he does is he, he loves numbers. He tends to understand the world through numbers. It, it's part of this love of kind of repetition of order um, and, and he, He's built his framework of the world to understand in numbers. So you can tell, even with things that don't necessarily fit into kind of a statistical framework, he tends to push them in that direction to help him feel comfortable in the environment, help him to understand exactly what's going on. It, it makes it less about an emotional problem and more mathematical, something that he relates to. Statistically speaking, one out, of the, one out of the five has a good chance of being unhappy at any given point. Now, overall, I think Elon Musk 
is incredible and I absolutely love what he's doing for mankind. I mean, this idea of obviously renewable energy, making sure that petrol uh, it becomes a thing of the past, helping with global warming, uh, as well as even putting people on the moon um, are all great things for every single person. And, uh, you know, I thoroughly applaud him to, even while doing that, be a champion of his own condition. So if I were wearing a hat, I would take it off to Elon Musk at this point. And I thank him for raising awareness for people with autism spectrum disorder and with Asperger's syndrome. So I really hope that this video has been useful for you. It's my intention to just try and make sense of some of the complex medical things that we see in our day-to-day -day lives. And if you did enjoy it, please hit that like button. That means that more people around the world will see it and be able to benefit from the video. I also wanna give a massive shout out to Ira, who is one of my favorite nurses ever and is sharing my content all over Facebook. Um, they were a huge part of helping me during my first ever job as a doctor on stroke medicine. And so um, it, a big, big shout out to Ira. If anyone else shares my content, just let me know and I am more than happy to give a shout out to you as well. You guys have been absolutely fantastic recently. We're killing it on this channel. We've had a really unbelievable level of growth. So thank you to each and every one of you for your support and more importantly, your time. I wish you all health and happiness. And if you have any suggestions for me, put them in the comment section below and I will see you all next week. Take care and peace.